Hi, greetings from Rochester Institute of Technology. My name is Katie Bizak, and I'm an assistant director here in the Office of Graduate Enrollment Services. My responsibilities in the office are primarily with the College of Engineering and with our students who are applying from India. So if either of those groups apply to you, welcome. And if not, I think this information will be helpful to you as well. We've received a number of questions lately about the overall cost of attendance at RIT. And I understand that it can be overwhelming to attempt to calculate the cost of attendance for your two years of graduate study, or even more if you're entering a PhD program. I wanna help break down the cost of attendance for you very quickly. First of all, the primary cost that you will be responsible for when you study at RIT is the cost of tuition. You can calculate the overall cost of attendance at RIT for your entire program by multiplying the cost of tuition per credit by the number of credits that you're taking. So for example, if you're enrolled in a 30 credit master's program, like many of our engineering or even our computer science programs are, then you would mu multiply 30 credits by the cost of tuition per credit hour. That cost is currently $1,815. And then, if you have been awarded a scholarship, you would deduct the percentage of scholarship from that overall amount. So to use the same example, 30 credits at 18.15 per credit hour, your overall tuition would be about $38,115. So that is the 30 credits times $1,815 minus 30%. That gives you an overall estimate of what the entire cost of attendance for the program will be. Keep in mind that the length of program can vary and you may be taking different numbers of credits per semester. So your amount of tuition cost per semester can change throughout the program. You'll also be responsible for health insurance causes, costs. Excuse me. <laughs> if you do not wish to purchase RIT's health insurance plan, you're not required to. You can bring your own family plan or another plan that you may already have and we will waive RIT's requirement for you. You're also going to be responsible for the cost of living, uh, that's housing, either on campus or off campus, and for miscellaneous fees and the cost of travel or cost of, of food. And those costs also vary greatly depending on what your personal circumstances are. So our website is a wonderful resource to you to give you an estimated cost of what the overall tuition and fees would be for the entire length of your graduate study. But you have to keep in mind that those costs, again, can vary. If you are looking for additional opportunities for scholarships and fellowships, you can look on our accepted student website where we list all of the open graduate assistant positions that you can currently apply for. And you can also reach out to your graduate program director for information about other assistantship opportunities that may be available to you when you arrive on campus. Finally, keep in mind that RIT has over 9,000 on-campus jobs and that as soon as you arrive on campus, you're eligible to apply for those positions. Our international students can work up to 20 hours per week and there are more than enough jobs to go around. So pretty much every student who wants a job on campus can easily find one. So if you have any other questions about the cost of tuition at RIT, don't hesitate to contact us. You can email us at gradinfo, G-R-A-D-I-N-F-O, at rit.edu or chat with us live anytime or call our office anytime. I'd also encourage you to connect with us on social media to meet other students and to ask questions of counselors if you have any before you arrive on campus. With that, I will end this quick video and I look forward to welcoming you to campus in August. Thank you.